Hello Game Makers, this is Game Maker Rob and in today's episode I'll show you how to easily have depth sorting or draw order using just one object. No layers, no messing around, let's get started. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make one object draw everything for you and also to make sure that it's drawn in the correct depth order. It's it's a fantastic replacement for depth equal minus y. It saves you the time of having to put things into the correct depth yourself because one object will do all for you. Uh, briefly, the way that it, everything works is all these instances, like the trees, the player, uh, they do not draw themselves. So for example, if I run the game without the main object, Let's just run the game. We'll see just the, the grass and the dirt, like so. If I add this instance back in, run the game again, we can see that everything is drawn, collisions work. I can't move past the base of the tree, but when I'm behind the tree, I'm not visible. When I'm in front of the tree, I am visible. What I mean by that is the depth order the depth draw order changes. So here, here the player is being drawn first and here the tree is being drawn first. Uh, right, so let's get into it. Okay, so if you want to use a view, then uh, this is how I have mine set up. Uh, we have inside viewports and cameras, enable viewports, make sure it's set to visible. And then the white rectangle is going to be how big the view is. I've got mine set to the size of the room. Um, you can have yours set to whatever you want. Uh, the code will work regardless. All, all we're doing basically, all we're doing is uh, this object is going to check for a collision within this size of a rectangle. Any object within this rectangle is going to get drawn by this main object. Uh, any object not within this rectangle shouldn't be drawn because first of all, it's outside the view. Second of all, it's not within the rectangle of the main object. Um, and then uh, we have a list that, get, that adds all these objects to itself. And then it adds the objects to a queue with a priority based on their Y value. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll see it working in a minute. Um, the sprites themselves, I have them centered in the bottom center here. Uh, for collision, I just have the base of the tree and the feet, uh, the feet of the player there, that's it. So we also need to make sure that uh, we stop the objects drawing themselves. Uh, you can do this in two ways. You can either add a draw event and leave it blank, uh, or you can just check visible so it's not visible like that. And I've got the same for the tree. Let's go into the code now. Um, this main object, I've made it persistent, doesn't have a sprite. Um, it's in the room, make sure it's in the room. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Uh, in the create event, like I said, we're going to have a list and we're going to have a queue. This guy just uh, adds all of the objects that are within that rectangle to itself so we know who to draw. This guy does the drawing. That's it. So in the step event, we've got a couple of things going on. So uh, we have four variables that are basically coordinates. These are the edges of our rectangle uh, that we, we're going to check for collision with things we want to draw. Uh, we have a left edge, a right edge, top and bottom. I'm, I'm using uh, the coordinates of the view for this. You don't have to use that. You can use whatever you want. Um, I just presumed people will be using you know big rooms. So that's what I've coded this for. Um, we also want to draw, we want to clear the draw list every step. This is to make sure that we're not drawing the same instances uh, more than once and also that um, any instances that are, that are not inside the view aren't going to get drawn again. 
otherwise they'll still be in this list if we don't clear it. This is a really useful function, collision rectangle list. Um, it's going to add, well, because we're using the keyword all, it's going to add any object, any instance of any object within in that rectangle into our draw list. So that's what we're using it for. And then we go through the length of our draw list. We're going to get every instance that's been saved to it. And we're going to add that instance to our draw queue with a depth or priority based on its Y coordinate like that. And then the last thing we need to do is draw everything. So in the draw event, uh, we have a for loop that uh, goes for uh, however big the draw list size is. Um, we're going to get the instance with the least priority from the draw queue. Uh, we're going to check this instance has a sprite we can draw just in case it's a, a, an object with no sprite. And then just draw that instance like that. And that's it. If you run the game, you can see this in action again. So there we go. Awesome. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching. I will catch you next time. Bye for now.